This is one of the Indian traditional Indian ceremony ritual. So this is the couple of things I will tell later on. The Ganesh Puja um, is Ganesh Puja is the prayer to Lord Ganesh, elephant-headed shape god. Ganesh is regarded as a god to remove all kinds of obstacles. Starting with the Lord Ganesh Puja is the prayer for the smooth and obstacle-free wedding. It is considering the God to welcome all, also remove all obstacles that may come into our way. Lord Ganesha is known as God which provides knowledge and prosperity. It is believed that worshipping of Lord Ganesha before marriage brings prosperity to couple's life. Offering prayer leads to a good and happy life that's full wisdom and positivity. Now next option is next one is garland exchange. Exchange of garland bride and group except as uh, husband and wife each other this is a comparing as non-verbal vow now is the mangal sutra so i will tell this first the word mangal sutra is come from sanskrit language a language from the ancient india the mangal sutra, mangal means holy and auspicious so a so a blessing the word sutra is also from sanskrit language that means a thread it is said that the black beads that are used to make up the mangal sutra um, have blessing from the universe that will protect the person who wears it now we can see that how to do these things so put the Mangal Sutra. A jet is putting the Mangal Sutra to Rashni's um, neck. So next one is the uh, Sindur ceremony. Sindur, a red powder, the vermilion is applied to the part of the woman's center of the uh, of in between the two parts of here symbolizing her new status as a married woman once ceremony is complete putting the sindhu is strong belief to the god goddess parvati not only the preserves the husband of a married woman but also serves from evils it is oblique prayer for the happy and long life of husband. Now is the blessing is is the ashirbad, the newly widowed wed, uh, then ask the blessing from the priest, relative uh, relatives and friends. The priest blesses the couples uh, couples first, showering them with the yellow color rice which symbolize the prosperity and happiness the parents and the parents of the bride and groom then bless their children in the same way followed by the close family members of the uh, congregation bless the couple and ceremony concludes with arti the rotation of tray Holding with banana wicks, wicks lamps is performed for the couple. Thank you very much. And I like to thank Mr. X, our honorable priest, to perform traditional Indian rituals.